Yo, what's going on guys? Today I actually have a video on my keyboard here. So it is the RK or Royal Cluj, I think is how you say it, uh, typewriter style keyboard with the blue switches. Uh, now, from what I could find, these are their own switch. It does appear to have the same uh, type of like compatibility with keycaps as any kind of like Cherry MX switch. Uh, which that's at least nice, but because they're blue, they are kind of loud. With the blue key switches in it, uh, you will want to make sure that anyone that you're living in the same room with, like if you're in a college dorm or, you know, you just have a sibling living in the same room as you, uh, make sure that they're okay with this because it does get kind of loud. Uh, as you will see in the um, typing test that I will have up here. And honestly, that's the biggest thing is just make sure that you're prepared for how loud it is since it is not a quiet keyboard. Um, they do have an option for going with red switches. Uh, personally, for me, I do not recommend red switches. For me, they just, I've tested them out in like Best Buy, Micro Center and all. And for me, they're just way too mushy feeling just like a membrane keyboard would be. Uh, they don't really feel mechanical enough to me, which is debatable to people. Some people love the red switches, but honestly, for this keyboard and the fact that it looks like a typewriter, it fits it very well to have the blue switches in there since it sounds like a typewriter too. Overall, this keyboard is pretty well built. There is some wobble on every key uh, besides the ones that have stabilizers, such as like the spacebar. Uh, so do be uh, knowledgeable about that. And also the key spacing, the key spacing is a little bit tighter than on like your standard keyboard, like say a Corsair K70, <clears throat> which is what I used to use. I used to have the uh, Mark I Corsair K70 RGB with cherry brown switches. Love that thing too. That is an awesome keyboard. I had that for like five, six years. The only other downside in terms of like more aesthetics than performance is that it is not a braided cable it is just a rubberized cable uh other than that that's about it for like downsides other than if you wanted to control this with some sort of software on your computer everything is done through the function key uh there's nothing done through software i'm not gonna mess with it because it takes a minute to set back up but uh Basically, the uh, way that you would set your keyboard like this, where I have it with mostly blue with uh, a couple keys being white, is you would hit function and F11, and that'll put it into uh, the mode where you can actually like program different keys to have different colors. But other than that, like you can do function and down, and it'll turn it down until eventually it blinks in certain areas which means that the LEDs are at their lowest and the same going the other way it'll blink when it's at its highest that way you don't sit there for 10 minutes spamming the keys and it's not going any brighter it lets you know about that for $70 would I recommend this keyboard I would say yeah I mean it's nothing special there's no macro keys or anything the only keys I wish it had was it has a couple um, media keys. It has 
a volume up, volume down, and mute key. I kind of wish that it had something like the K70 did where it also had at least next and previous button. If not, a play pause button as well, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, this is more than enough for like normal daily operations. The only uh, times that I miss that would be if I'm doing something like a lab and they just have Spotify open playing music in the background. But other than that, I don't really miss it at all. The rest dress is pretty nice. I do like the Corsair one a little bit better just because it's like a nice soft rubber uh, wrist rest. Whereas this is just like a hard plastic. Uh, but honestly, it's not the end of the world. Not really a big deal. You get used to it super quick. Um, and there is a little bit of an adjustment period with this keyboard since the blues are a little bit harder to press than a lot of other key switches. So you will feel a little bit of fatigue after a while. Say you're trying to write like a three to five page paper all in one shot. You will probably have to take a couple breaks uh, the first couple of times that you use this keyboard. But after that, it should be no issue at all. Other than that, talking about, say, talking about the lighting for a second, uh, the colors are pretty true to what you would think. The blue is very, very slightly purple uh, some of the time. Like right now, it doesn't really look purple, but there's other times, like when I was first setting it up, comparing it to like the lights in my PC or uh, blue LEDs I have like up around my room, uh, it did appear very, very slightly purple. But uh, honestly, just on its own, it's very blue and, you know, there's nothing to worry about there. Um, and it can do the rainbow as well if. You just want to have a ton of RGB stuff all over the place. It, it can do that. You can make it do the wave and everything as well. There's a bunch of different effects on it. Uh, I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, but I know like you can do almost like a rain effect. You can do, I think, a spiral. You can do the rainbow going across, and you can switch directions of the, that as well. You can also have like a trail of the last key you press will be illuminated and then a couple seconds later it'll turn back off. And then you of course also have a custom. The really cool thing honestly about this keyboard that I haven't really seen on too many other keyboards is the sides illuminate. Um, by default it does match up with the uh, rainbow effect going across. But that can be changed to a solid color. Honestly, I don't remember exactly how to do that one, but it is one of the things that you can do. I've done pretty much everything on this keyboard. I've used it for gaming. I've used it for uh, content creation. I've used it for cybersecurity stuff, since that's what I'm going to school for. Uh, I've used it for everything. I honestly love it, and I can't stand going back to the labs where they have membrane keyboards. Serious first world problem there, but... uh. That, that aside, I I really do enjoy using this key a lot, actually. For me, there's really no issues at all with it. Even the key wobble, it's really not that much, and it really doesn't affect anything. So for me, I would say for $70, this keyboard is really good, and I would definitely recommend it. If you have any experiences with this keyboard, good, bad, ugly, whatever, uh, toss them down in the comments below and uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.